Now, the World Health Organization estimated that approximately 20% of the nation's population, equating to around 40 million Nigerians, suffer from mental health disorders. In light of this, experts in the field are calling for increased focus on mental health issues within the nation. Details in this report. Mental health in Nigeria is an area that does not receive the attention it rightfully warrants. According to estimates from the World Health Organization, a mere 3% of the government's health budget is allocated to mental health issues. The event was attended by a diverse group of individuals, all dressed in vibrant attire, who gathered for what the organizer described as critical discussions focused on mental health. The speakers included advocates, mental health professionals, and influential thought leaders. The organizer, Dr. Maimuna Yusuf Kaduri stated that the theme, Identity, will explore questions such as who are you really and the relationship between identity and mental health. Mental illness affects four in one in four individuals, including us in Nigeria. And as of 2021, during the heat of COVID-19, UNICEF said that one in six young persons it's currently depressed in Nigeria. Maybe people, you see somebody start hearing voices, start seeing strange things, and you know, start feeling suicidal because they feel hopeless, worthless. And the reason why I chose identity is that identity is the core of our being. Identity helps you to view yourself, view the world, and how to relate with other people. A lot of people are not coping financially, amongst other reasons, they, they are not simply not coping. And that leads to depression. Sometimes depression can be caused by loss of a loved one. It can be caused by so many disappointments in life. There's so much stigma surrounding mental health and people thinking that they should not go to you know, a psychiatrist, there's no mental health in my family and all that kind of thing. And that needs to be cast aside. And that's what this conference is about. Various topics were addressed, including the impact of trauma on self-perception and the role of multicultural experiences in shaping identity, among others. Mental illnesses can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, socioeconomic status, race, or even religion. And once we're aware, information is one of the best things you need against ignorance. When people are aware, when they know better, like I said, they will do better. People are more likely to seek help. They're more likely to take proactive steps to ensure that uh, they're in health at all times. And when all of those things are there, of course, we all also need to work together. Together, no one left behind. For the fact you see somebody smiling, looking good, laughing, doesn't mean they have it all together. Everybody in Nigeria, as you know, our natural quote, suffering and smiling. So every day when you step out, please spread love be good because you don't know what the next person is going through try your best you know and when people come and tell you that oh i'm really going through a phase i am depressed i want our fellow nigerians to say you'll be fine don't worry you'll get over it soon but that's not the right answer clinical psychologists like dr memuna kaderi are throwing and shedding light with movements like this and initiatives like this identity Identity is different from character, different from personality, different from temperament, you know, but we usually confuse all three. So I feel like initiatives like this, movements like this, we shed more light. And what the government has to do as well is to take matters like this extremely seriously. The previous year's theme was the mind behind the mask. Additionally, there were participants who joined the discussions online. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.